in this parabolic graph you see that the, the, our graph parabolic graph intersect uh, x axis in two distinct points so one is here and another one is here so in how many places it will intersect two so there will be two values so the answer will be two so just like that so we can see that the uh, excess number 2.1 that is a graph in your dashboard excess number 2.1 look at that various graph are given see the first one the first graph is not intersecting it is a linear graph it is parallel to x axis that is why the answer will be zero see what is the question in the graph y is equal to px are given and for some polynomials find the number of zeros the number of zeros means uh, how many places it intersect x axis here none zero see the second graph it will be two it, it will be also only one and in the third graph it is one two and three the answer will be three three zeros are there in the fourth graph it is one and two see the fifth one 1 2 3 and 4 four zeros are there the next one is 1 2 1 2 3 and 4 four zeros are there the next one is 1 2 3 so this is the first axis you draw this i think everybody is having this book and uh, do this exercise Okay, now we will start our excess number 2.2. So I have given the formula for the linear equations, alpha plus beta. So here, first we have to find the answer of this with the factorization method. Look here, x squared minus 2x minus 8. So what is the constant term is 8. And what is the middle term is, middle term permission is minus 2. So we have to make two numbers in such a way their sum is equal to minus 2, their product is equal to minus 8. I think everybody knows that 4 2 are 8. 4 into 2 is equal to 8. 1 is minus and 1 is plus. So which one is minus? The bigger one, that is 4. And 2 is. So minus 4 plus 2 is equal to minus 2 minus 4 into 2 is equal to minus 8. Their sum is equal to the coefficient of middle term and the product is equal to the constant. Okay, so now we will do it. x squared minus plus 2x minus 4x minus 8. You know that why I put it here. This we can do the main common. So what is common here? x is common. Here, so we can able to make common. So what is common here? X is common. X plus two. The same way here, minus four is common. X plus two. So y plus minus into minus plus is equal to zero. Here also equal to zero. So x plus two is equal to zero, or x minus two is equal to zero. Therefore, now linear equations. X is equal to minus 2 or x is equal to plus 4. So these are the value. Now you are verify alpha plus beta. Alpha plus beta is equal to minus 2 plus 4 is equal to minus 2. And then alpha into beta is equal to minus 2 into 4 is equal to 4 to the 8. That we know that we have already seen that alpha. See by verifications with the relation with the formula. Alpha plus beta is equal to minus b upon a. So here a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 2, and c is equal to 8. Formula Alpha plus beta 
इज इक्वल टू माइनस बी अपॉन ए तो फिर ए इज इक्वल टू वन बी इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू एंड सी इज इक्वल टू ए तो दिस इज ए ए एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस बी एक्स माइनस सी दैट इज अ फॉर्मूला हियर इन दिस इज इक्वल टू व्हाट इज द कोफिशिएंट ऑफ बी माइनस तो माइनस इनटू माइनस टू अपॉन व्हाट इज द कोफिशिएंट हियर वन माइनस इनटू माइनस इनटू टू प्लस टू अपॉन वन इज इक्वल टू दिस प्लस सो इट विल बी टू See, this plus two. That is why here it will become minus minus. And there, alpha into beta. What is the formula? You might be knowing that uh, C upon A. So what is here C? Minus A upon one is equal to minus A. So look here. See both. Here is also minus two, and here is also. This is the verification. So in this way, I will do one more example. Two point two. Question number two. Find the quadratic polynomials. We have to find the polynomials. Each with a given numbers. Ask the sum and the product of its zeros are number one, one over four, and minus one. Number two is root two and one upon three, and third is zero and the root five. See the first one. Here, what is given? Alpha plus beta is equal to one upon four, and alpha into beta is equal to minus one. So there is a special formula, easy formula. It is not given in the textbook. X squared minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta is equal to zero. So what is the formula? X squared minus here always minus alpha plus beta that value is given into x plus alpha into beta is equal to zero that is also given. So we will put that x squared x squared minus What is alpha plus beta? That is one upon four. One upon four into x. One upon four into x plus minus one is equal to zero. See here, the LCM is four. Four into x. One upon four into x plus minus one is equal to zero. See here, the LCM is four. So you have to multiply four in both this side. So four into x squared is equal to four x squared minus that four comes here minus x plus into minus minus one is equal to zero. So this is so when you are writing p of x, we can put a constant. So we can write that k in bracket four x squared minus x minus one. Is equal to zero. This is answer. And what is k? K is not equal to zero. Constant. K is a constant. That is not equal to zero. Any number. It can. I think you understand. The formula is very important. X squared minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta is equal to zero. Look. See the second one. Then you will get the idea. Alpha plus beta is equal to root two. Alpha into beta is equal to one upon three. Again, p of x is equal to x squared minus alpha plus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta is equal to zero. Look, see the second one. Then you will get the idea. Alpha plus beta is equal to root two. Alpha into beta is equal to one upon three. Again, p of x is equal to x squared minus alpha plus beta into x plus 
alpha into beta is equal to 0. x squared minus what is alpha plus beta? Root 2. x into x plus alpha into beta is 1 upon 3 is equal to 0. Now your LCM is 3. 3 x squared minus root 2 root 2 into 3, 3 root 2 3 root 2 x plus 1 is equal to 0 is equal to, now put k 3 x squared minus 3 root 2 x plus 1 is equal to 0 so this is a quadratic equation so, 